I feel like these guys need a little bit of dewormer. Get back. You guys know, but this is one of the coolest things in the world. Joe, big Joe. Hey, buddy. Got some treats for you today. Hey, guys, welcome back to Cross Timbers Bison. This is Big Joe. I'm Dusty. <laughs> it's a nice to be greeted by a big breed bull, big bison breed bull. We're about to pull through here. I feel like these guys need a little bit of dewormer. Oh, the geese are super active this morning down here on the pond. It's usually the chickens if I'm up at the barn down here at the pond now it's the geese i feel like these guys need a little bit of medication it's that time of year we're about two months out from working the bison but with the weather conditions that we've been having this winter i feel like there's some animals in here that uh need a little bit of attention so we're going to give them uh, a medication day i'm going to tell you what it is and why we're doing it we're going to try it right here all right guys here it is our bison sticks are back in stock you can check them out on our website right now get them before they go crosstimbersbison.com already found it. Period. That my whole temporary flag to keep them away. Somebody already found it. All you gotta do is hear this rattle and he knows what it is. I think they're ready to run. Probably are. You guys ready? Come on, let's get you some cues. Come on. Move your butts out of the way. Christy! I see you, Christy.
try to keep some for Eleanor. Wherever she is. She usually shows up. All right. What I'm doing today is, these are not just regular cubes today. These are Safeguard medicated cubes. And um, the main ingredient on these is Bambendazel. I'll show it to you. Right there is the main ingredient right there, Fembendazel. Dazel, I don't know how you say it. I just know that uh, this is a way that, I've done this before a video several years ago when we had Big Joe at Mom and Kevin's place, the OG, we had Big Joe there. Kind of in the winter season, I went ahead and what I did with him is instead of, I didn't have a dart gun at the time, a couple years ago, we weren't working him yet. And so I wanted to go ahead and medicate him, get some warmer in him. I went ahead and gave him these cubes. And these are just normal cubes, but medicated version of it. And there's a couple of things I'm gonna scoop back here just a little bit as they're making their rounds. I dumped it all off already. The reason I'm doing this is because this is another approach. If uh, you raise cattle, if it's for beef or dairy cattle, this is a way, or bison, this is a way for us to go ahead and get some medication. And when I say medication, what the focus is, be sure and roll in some poop there, Jackie. Woo. I'll get you. I got them all stampeding this way. That's why you gotta be out of the way. Oh, look out. If I could ever get to this. The reason that we do it this way is the weather here, we've got a lot of rain over the winter, above average rainfall. And you mix the cold and the rain. These animals are tough, we know that. But it can also bring them down just a little bit. And if there's any slot of sickness in these animals or any type of weakness or something, uh, weather can bring them down like that. And so I'm gonna pick this back up. And you can see it's been set in my barn. It's got chicken poop on it, of course. It's nice. but. This is basically what it is. You can get it. Um, I got it locally here at Sulphur Farm and Ranch. You know, I got a 50 pound bag and I'm sure there's a treatment process if you got fewer animals, but I got two bags. So I got a hundred pounds for roughly 37 adults out here. You can structure this however you want or however the directions say, but this is an easy way for us to do it. And we're hoping they all get, if you do a hundred pounds divided by 37, okay, you can do the math on that, on what they're getting. You hope that they at least get about two pounds a piece. Now, will that happen? No, because this is the way we do it. We don't have feeders spread out um, on our ranch and then you dump the cubes in the feeders, right? That's just something we don't do. We don't come out here and feed them like that. That's why you buy the big three quarter size cubes. Let me grab one. Now they're gonna hear it and wanna come over to see me. Like 15.04 here. So I'll just grab a handful of them just so you guys can see what they look like. So this is all they are basically. It's a three quarter size cube. This is the biggest cube. This is my normal cube that we always feed the bison for treats or to follow the ATV. This is the same sort of stuff, but this is just a safeguard. We typically don't feed safeguard. We feed a local 14% cube, but this one here is just a medicated version from safeguard. Now, this is not the most effective. This is basically a supplemental way. Oh, we've got somebody coming to see us here. Hey, I'll just throw you some cubes down there. Mr. Big Joe. Oh, no more, buddy. Hey. Ah, no more. Big joke. Too close, buddy. Get back. Get back, buddy. You had plenty. Okay. Get out. slobber on the seat. I'm going to move a little bit so he's out of the way. What do you want? Oh, here he comes. Here we go again. Hey, 
Pancho, they're really like pasture in here. Jeez. Can't get away from everyone. Now Haas will be next. Some cow will be over here. Big Joe, he's still looking around like that. So my point is, is this is not the most effective. If you watched Marissa and I not too long ago, we did some darting on some of our heifers that we thought looked like they had a decent parasite load. A way to do this just to, instead of bringing your animals all the way up, which we could do that, but I don't want to do it. It's not time for that. We're not going to do a roundup. We're not bringing the animals up and cause stress. This is a normal situation here of me just feeding them cubes like I always do. Every two or three days to supplement because we don't have enough protein in our hay at a six or 7% native protein hay that we get here we've got to supplement with the cubes and so just a natural way of doing things is we can kind of fake them out a little give them their cues but they're getting medication as well so they love it it's a great way to deworm your animals and what i say it's not the most effective we typically use long range or valbazin or a sidectin to deworm our animals when we bring them up in the fall and the spring that's kind of how we do it Big Joe made his way up here. Didn't take long, so he's going to follow me around. ATV. He's going to smell these sacks. Okay. Be sure and tear the sacks up. Yep, there's nothing in there. Christy's coming to inspect. Peaches, like natural. Hey, hey, if you rattle the sack, they know that I have some. Don't rattle the sack. Seriously, Big Joe, you're really... You're really in my way. So I'm having to basically just drive around. Bell Star is getting huge. I'm so excited for her to have a calf. She lost hers last year. Very excited for her to have a calf. She's she's looking really, really big right there. Original female. I'm just trying to move a little bit here. Because anytime that you rattle these sacks right here. See, look, she's coming. Anytime you rattle these sacks, they just come running. It's not as good as a dart. It's not as good as, they're still coming. It's not as good as a dart. It's not as good as an injection because you actually see the injection going in them. You know, whenever we um, give them their dewormer, you actually see it go in, you watch it go in, you push it in. Uh, whenever we work them and Doc Parsons is there work, helping us work our animals. Uh, with this, you just hope that they consume as much as they can within their, their pecking order that they can get some cubes and get some of this medication. So this is what we do. Um, I do it maybe once or twice a year. These bags are, I want to say they're maybe 30 pounds. Or they're $30 a piece. Uh, normally my regular cubes are close to about $11 for a 50 pound bag. And I want to say total for both of these has been a little over 60 to 70 bucks. So anywhere from 30 to $35. Here we go again. It, you really kind of put me in predicament here where you're getting too close. That is not safe, by the way. It's not the best thing is to have him where he can come up that close to you. I just scoot over to the other side of the seat, basically. It's just not safe. He's a pretty gentle bull, but still, come on. Big Joe. Uh, every time I stop, he's just going to scoot closer and closer. But I'll try to get the bison in the picture for you. So anyways, that's what we do. And uh, it's a great way to medicate them um, and get them by in the meantime. It's just a, something easy. It's easy to do, and it's low stress. You don't have to bring them up and all that. Hey guys, look who it is back there. It's the old brother-in-law getting out there, bringing back old time's sake, burning together. How about that? Burning some property out here, part of uh, Law Wall organization. Having some fun today. I get the drip torch. <laughs> best tool ever you need one of these I have one oh you good <laughs> you do it's on the way I ordered oh. one the other day yes I could do this about every day 
And I'll pull Fagan does. So we're out here a part of an organization that I'm a part of. It's called Lawa Lake of the Arbuckles Watershed. It's a local organization here to basically help take care of the vegetation, take care of the soil, which ultimately takes care of our water that goes into Lake Arbuckle here locally, just down the road from the Ponderosa. And this organization is designed around that. And so farmers and ranchers can come together to try to restore land do things the right way and protect our water and that's what we're out here doing is part of these methods of cleaning places up and taking care of the land the soil the water is prescribed burning which you guys know i love prescribed burning we actually done it on the ponderosa before and that's what we're out here doing we kind of go around to different people's properties that are under this organization. We come together to help uh, landowners to perform these prescribed burns so that we can enhance the land, the soil, and the water. And it serves purpose and it's a community thing that uh, will help everybody out in this part of Oklahoma. That involves Lake Arbuckle. All right, so we lit the west side of it and I stopped kind of right in here and then we a guy went across this road here where we're keeping it separated, lighting the head fire, and that's why you see the big smoke there. The wind's coming out of the south, pushing it across. So we lit the, the back burn, the back line here this way on the north side, and it slowly comes this way. And then when you feel comfortable and everything's right and you got it black, then you can light it on the south side. And Cole, do you all need some help? Wind will push it. So now all this is about to burn right in here. This will be black in about, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes. There's a lake here that's our southern border. So it's pretty much a natural fire line. It's actually a flood control that runs through here. And then so we'll light on this side now and take another big chunk right here. Uh, so Michael's lighting off of a four-wheeler. He's got a drip torch in his left hand. You can see the flames starting behind him. He's lighting, he's lighting the south end of this. And it's just a faster way to light it. You see, not have to do it on foot. I was doing it on foot. <laughs> it's okay. I need to get a workout in. So he's gonna come across this water here or near the shoreline of this flood control. And now you see it starting to pick up here. And pretty soon this will be all black. A little bit of wind for sure it'll go. It's picking up some steam now. guys know but this is one of the coolest things in the world. South wind got it going. 
Done hey, take Chris. one. Danger. Copy that. A little bit of wind will push it pretty fast and far. Yee. Oh goodness, oh goodness. Look at the new bullet. Bullet! You guys are a mess. This is Bullet, by the way, the newest edition of the family. Brooks's first official puppy ever. If you don't know, this is Maya, the blue healer. She thinks she's a working dog, but not much of a working dog. Pretty sweet girl, though. Oh, yeah. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you. Oh, you just want to be on the camera, don't you? It's always fun to burn, especially when you get a bunch of guys together that love to burn. <laughs> it's fun to do all that, and uh, you're doing it for a purpose. There is a reason behind prescribed burning, and it's fun to be a part of these organizations with these guys that you're all working together. It's like farmers helping farmers, ranchers helping ranchers to better the ecology, better the environment, better the soil, and better the water. It's basically designed, this whole organization that I'm um, part of is part of the watershed. And you can use these methods like prescribed burning to be to, in, to protect the ground, to try to provide better water um, to that watershed, which feeds into our lake just down the road and uh, provides us water and other cities around us water um, as well and so that's why i'm part of that and uh, who doesn't like to burn and be a part of an actual organized prescribed burn planned and then it goes and you got a plan you go out there you take care of the job take care of the land it helps the landowner on whatever their projects are whether it's for their cattle bison whatever it is you're helping them out as well and the watershed as well and that's why we do it so thank you guys for watching us we'll see you guys soon